This is the Sardine Can Shrine Challenge from the artist Gary Reef. When I received the Sardine Can, I hadn't really decided what I wanted to create. But I kind of knew I had a few months to, uh, you know, to figure something out, to have something inspire me. I played around with a few things here and there. Picked up stuff from the side of the road, yard sales, my nephew Jimmy, who is a fantastic uh, scavenger. Um, and then also just other various places. Nothing really struck me, and yes, the months that I thought I had were dwindling down to less and less. Uh, and then one day, uh, a great friend of mine, who is a fantastic artist, um, and we have so opposite techniques. Um, she's a fine artist, and I'm more of a eclectic, crazy kind of artist. Um, and we have very, very different ways of doing it. But we appreciate each other's work and we encourage each other in our endeavors. Well, one day I received an email from her. And in that email, she revealed her inner fears. The, I'm not good enough, people will laugh, and this is my only one good piece, there will never be another. As I was reading it, I thought, wow, she has the same thoughts as I do. You know, considering I've seen her beautiful work, I can't believe she has those thoughts. Um, and I guess we, we all really kind of carry around an inner critic. Uh, whether you're an artist or a business major, um, even a parent can carry around inner critics. Uh, somewhere inside, when you do something for yourself or someone and, and you're about to share it with the world, a voice from inside always comes out and says, it's not good enough. And some of us run and hide from it. Uh, others fight through it and continue on no matter what and bravo kudos so as I thought about her words I, I began thinking of my fears and my inner critic and I thought if I created my critic and brought him to life that maybe it would be easier to fight it and become less fear fearful of it um, and less fearful of sh sharing my art with, with everyone so I started with creating the eye, uh, give, giving him the power to see what I create. And even though the negative words are out there all around him, surrounding him on the wings, you know, like, what a joke, you're not good enough, uh, that's stealing, you know, especially a lot of people go through that. Um, so even though all those negative words are there and you hear them the loudest, I still believe that deep down uh, inside of the critic, hidden behind his puny little heart, that he has uh, words to share that are positive, uh, wanting me to grow and learn from each piece that's created. And, and, and it also in each every move that I make just to grow. I put it on wheels to show uh, that everywhere I go and everything that I do, it follows me, pulling at me to give up. Um, it also makes me want to be able to just push it out the door and then close the door behind it. The small character that I put in the front of it, they kind of reminded me of, of me as being a co-pilot to this critic. And if I don't find a way to suppress him, he will end up taking over. The bullet in his hand uh, is just what I have to dodge in order to move on. And then there's also a handle on top. And when you do pull it up, he sends out this little sinister laugh at me is laughing behind my back um, and then you know just there's other little things that I added uh, just to create and, and and you know other little things to make him come alive um, the little bumper stickers on the back <laughs> and uh, but yeah so I hope you enjoy um, I had a lot of fun making it uh, thank you Gary uh, for giving me this opportunity to uh, and everybody take care